the great Dendro Archon. How can I help you? I would like to check the registration records of a Kasharawar scholar. He should be in an unconscious state right now. Okay, just a moment. Sorry to keep you waiting, Dendro Archon. We have confirmed that there's a scholar named Benuni who's been unconscious for a while. The cause was improper operation of the Akasha. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, and is still receiving treatment at Bimarstan. Huh? Isn't his name... Moses? I guess he didn't want to be recognized or bothered by anyone. Please, give the knowledge stored in this to the Matra, and ask them to import it into Benuni's brain. Understood. But for safety reasons, I need to know why. It's simple. This contains his consciousness. It's long been trapped inside of a dream. He's committed an act that affected the safety of Sumeru. After he wakes up, I'll inform the General Mahamatra of all the details. I see. I'll take care of this right away. Thank you, Great Dendro Archon. Mm -hmm. No problem. <sighs> all right. Everyone should have gathered at a moment of dreams by now. Let's head back. and just listen in. I wonder what she's going to say. Hello, all of you who have just woken up. I'm sorry for interrupting your beautiful dreams. I may have acted a little cold when handling things in the dream. I sincerely apologize for that. Dreams have amazing power. They inspire us to remain resolute in the face of adversity and help those with aspirations achieve their desires. But dreams also have the potential to exploit people, confuse the senses, and distort the truth. Unfortunately, you are all chosen as prey for an elaborate scheme. As I've said before, I am still learning, and cannot fully empathize with the pain of all the loss you've experienced. But just take a good look around you, and you'll see many other people who have had similar experiences. You should be proud that you've been able to gather here and look toward the future together. The path of life is long, and it's hard for us to see the destination. This leads us to ask a lot of difficult questions. What's the meaning of life? What's the purpose of my existence? Why do I keep experiencing pain and loss? <sighs> of course, the most comfortable choice is to stop progressing. Give up thinking, and just keep repeating whatever you're already familiar with. Whenever you have such thoughts, just look at the people and things around you. Some people work hard all day so that their families can have a hot meal on the table at night. Some people travel all over the world in order to create art that resonates with all of Tavat. Some venture in search of the world's secrets to prevent rapidly approaching, yet still unknown, world-shattering catastrophes. Life is not just about yourself. Each and every one of your actions shapes you and the world around you. <sighs> Look, friends and family will remember what you've done, and even some people you've never met may benefit from your actions. Therefore, many people will strive forward to forge new paths, even if they have to endure great pain to do so. Once you begin your journey on that same difficult yet rewarding path, You'll come to know the answers to those big, existential questions. Yet they will no longer feel as life-defining as they did before. But if you were to believe that life is nothing but an empty, ephemeral dream, then that's also the only thing it will ever become. You are free to choose how you want to live your lives, but as your Archon, I should first make this information known to everyone. In the end, it's up to you whether you want to embrace a beautiful dream at the cost of your real life. Nahida said she wanted to speak with us alone. It seems like she went to the plaza in front of the academia. that scholar in 
that dream. Well, he's very good at manipulating the weaknesses of human nature, but perhaps he himself had fallen prisoner to them long ago. That dream was incredibly beautiful and enticing. Ordinary people couldn't see through it and easily lost themselves within it. But as long as you can still wake up, you can still move forward with your life. Huh? What makes you say that? Right! You said that you didn't understand human feelings, but we saw how considerate you were with all these people. Your speech just now really connected with everyone. You did a good job! <laughs> Thank you. I've heard a lot of sad stories along this journey, and several of them have touched my heart. You can't say that the victims of the dream really did anything wrong, and what they wanted was also not unreasonable. That's why I could understand them when they tried to resist us and protect the dream. But all of my understanding and stirred feelings probably can't even account for even 1% of the pain they've experienced. I don't think this 1% can be seen as an example of what you call empathy. You're too hard on yourself, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright. I suppose going out into the world will help my confidence grow. I've learned that emotions are nothing like knowledge, and that's why it's hard for me to put them into words sometimes. Benini, or Mercedes, said that I had never personally felt the pain of loss. But I have a vague feeling that this isn't true. The moment I entered the dream, I felt like I was wrapped in a blanket of warm feelings. It was so warm that it felt like I had returned to the start of my life. And I didn't want to wake up anymore. But when I opened my eyes, the feeling was gone without a trace. If I have to make an analogy for it, I would say I can no longer see words on a piece of paper after they have been erased. But I can still see the slight indentations of where the words had been written. But now that I've experienced this dream, I think I can say with confidence that I won't dwell too much on the meaning of that warmth. It's enough that I can tell I was once supported by that warmth, and its existence has allowed me to get to where I am today. If I dwell too much on its exact nature, I would be putting the cart before the horse. I gave a speech to inspire my people, so if I were to fail to live up to those words myself, then that would be too embarrassing. <laughs> You keep looking like there's something you want to say. Is there anything you want to tell me? <laughs> okay. Since we just woke up, let's stretch a little bit. A new day is about to begin. <laughs> <laughs> 